Good afternoon. Today I'm talking about reorganization, sales and mergers of companies, and how that impacts on executive employees. Most companies don't realize the impact of their decisions on the future and on the career of their executive employees. And executive employees are quite often the last to learn of a restructuring, a reorganization, a merger, a takeover, a sale that will impact on their future, on their careers, on their life, and on their family. Do employers have an obligation to think this through and not just think about it as a tax, finance, or a, a way in which to minimize their exposure to uh, economic conditions? I think they do. I think there's a way for corporations to be cost efficient and at the same time humane and they have to look at the consequences to their employees of their financial maneuverings. And if they don't, then it's the executive employee who has to get the kind of expert employment law information and advice so that he or she can transition from one company to another without the disruption and the destruction that so often happens to careers. I have found over the years that people who come to see me come to me for three major reasons. Politics, politics, and politics. I see very few people who are incompetent or who can't do their job. They are impacted by decisions that are made which are totally irrelevant to their competence and whether they can do their job. Everyone is entitled to a smooth transition to new employment and the law says that the employer must provide that transition either by way of notice or severance or both. Most executive employees and many employers do not understand how one calculates what is a fair and reasonable transition package for an executive employee and that's where we come in and that's what we have to do. Good advice is like gold when you are dealing with a disruption to your career, your life, and your family. You can't be penny wise and pound foolish under these circumstances. I've advised over a thousand executive employees and hundreds of national and international public and private corporations on how to do this smoothly, how to respect the individual employee and to do it without destroying the company's financial well-being. I look forward to speaking to you, and I look forward to helping you if I can.